A lot of shells come with holes already in them. And so that is makes it a lot easier to wrap. Some don't and you have to wrap them this way, but we're not going to do this today. This will be another video. This one is a lot harder. The one I'm getting ready to show you is a lot easier. So I have these two shells. I'm not for sure which one I'm going to wrap. I could use silver. I could use gold. I don't think either one of these, they don't float my boat too much. I could use brass or I could use copper. I actually think I like the copper the best. Brass looks good too. Hmm, what to do? So I think I've decided to do the antique brass and I probably need, I'm gonna get about eight inches. This is not necessarily rocket science. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I got about eight inches of wire here and I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to thread it through the hole. All right. <laughs> I tell you, my eyes, I still haven't gotten my new glasses yet. Anyway, so you thread it through the hole like that. So the next thing you do is you're going to cross these wires and you're just going to start twisting all the way up. And it does not necessarily need to be neat. If it's messy, that's fine. Because when you wrap it down and make the bail, you're really not going to see how messy or neat you did this part. But you do need to join these, just twisting them to, to make them as one piece. Okay, so we have that. The next thing you want to do is get your round nose pliers, or I like to actually use these, and I'm going to do the skinnier one. So you just clip it, and then you take this wire and you wrap it around. I'm just going to wrap it around and around and around. And I like to do these messy because it looks more organic. And you just wrap around until you get to a stopping point, which I'm right there. And then I'm going to tuck these guys in by using flat nose pliers. You could use bent nose, you know, whatever works for you. But you do want to make sure that you tuck the wires in and make sure it's not scratchy. Let me get this one in and then I'll make sure we have them all tucked in nice and neat and they're not poking out to scratch the neck of whoever is wearing them. Okay, I don't feel anything. And then now you're gonna to want to make sure this bail is where you want it. So carefully just kind of Move it around. You want it to be facing this direction so when you put it on your chain, it's not sideways. For instance, let me show you here. See, it's kind of hanging wonky, so I need to twist that a little bit more. Okay, I twisted it some more. Let's see if it's going to hang. It should hang right but sometimes you just have to keep playing with it. Yes, it is hanging perfectly. And that is how you wrap a shell with an existing hole to make a piece of jewelry. And this is what it looks like. I love wearing these shells. They're really fun, very simple and fun to wear. Now, if you're lucky enough to find two seashells that look very similar, you're never gonna find two that look exactly alike. But if you find two that look similar, you can just use jump rings and hang them on ear wires. Now, I have wrapped them like I just showed you and put them on earrings. But if you wanted it just a little bit simpler, you could do it this way. Now, notice I used two jump rings because I wanted to make sure the shell hung correctly. And 
like I said, you're not going to find them exactly, but you can find them very similar. So the next time you head to the beach on your vacation, or maybe you live close to the beach and you're just going to take a, a stroll down the shoreline, try looking for some shells with holes in them and make yourself a pair of earrings or a little pendant for a necklace. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Mostly though, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.